must count so I can be more. Make a difference in this world is what we're here for. I count, give 100%. The money I make, more than I spent. I count, put the numbers to the test. Balance my life, add to success. I count, will I be a star? Forget about the rest, be who you are. I count. I think a final year end is when all your money has run out. It's the end of your finances, I think. I count, so I can be more. Make a difference in this world is what we're here for. I've got it. Got what? Our next destination. Just point us in the right direction and I will put my foot on the accelerator. Uh, whoa. First, you need to take your foot off the accelerator. We need to make a stop. I think Bookie needs a walk. It's an arts festival just three towns away from here. I really think we should go. It sounds like there's a bat there somewhere. But the rent is quite high and I don't know if we're too late to get space. Who is going to say no to budget tees? The best t-shirt south of the Limpopo. How much is the rent? 500 rands. What? My half of that would be 250 rand. Do you know how many lemonades I must sell to make that amount? That's before I have even recovered any of the other costs. <laughs> I just have to sell one t-shirt. I wouldn't laugh if I were you. It was not so long ago that you did not even sell one t-shirt. If that happens, you'd be 250 rand in debt. I didn't think of that. But guys, the rent is high because the amount of people that attend this festival is very high. They are expecting more than 5,000 people. I would have to print more t-shirts. Maybe you must first get rid of your old stock before you start making more. Always the voice of business reason. I think Pookie is done now. So you guys need to make up your mind and let me know. I must see if I can work my marketing magic and get us in. Let's flip a coin. Ledger! There is no way to make a business decision. Fine. How would you do it? I will work out a business plan of the risk involved and if it would be viable for Lona's Lemonade. Well, you better hurry. We need to phone as soon as possible. I count. A cash budget is a forecast of cash inflows and outflows incorporating the timing of when the money is coming in and when money needs to be paid out. It is one of those very important planning tools in an organization because you need to have cash to pay your suppliers. Guys, so an art festival sounds like a really great idea. The only problem that they're facing though is that the rent is really high, hey? I'm not sure, hey? When I look at my business, I think I don't pay any rent. But if my mom was to charge me rent, like, I'd have to increase my prices. So I'm thinking Lona must charge like two rand more per lemonade just to cover her extra expenses. Mm, I see what you're saying. It's a good idea. But also take into consideration that people might not buy her lemonade because it's more expensive. That's why I think it's a good idea for Lona to just work out a projected income. What does that mean, projected income? Well, what it means is that she's going to have to look at what happened at the two previous markets, okay? Uh, how much lemonade did she sell at those markets and how many people actually came. Then she needs to look at this particular market. What does she think she's going to sell and how many people are actually coming? She's projected that she's going to sell a thousand lemonades, okay? And that's for 10 rand per lemonade. So she's projecting an income of 10,000 rand, okay? In which case, then paying the high rent makes good business sense. So it's kind of like guessing. Yeah, but it's, it's using previous financial information to support your guess, right? So it's more like an estimate because you're planning for the future. So then she'd have to do a cash budget, right? Which in essence really just estimates um, future cash receipts and payments. How? But how what? But how will it all work? Um, okay, Lona's projected that she's going to sell 1,000 lemonades, right? But she needs to figure out her requirements, okay? The requirements being like how much um, lemon will she need, how many cups will she need, and the ice that she'll need as well to make the 1,000 lemonades. She needs to factor that into a cash budget and work out her and round off her expenses. She needs to take those expenses then and subtract it from projected income. And then she'll know what kind of pro uh, profit she might make. That is fun. I can do the same. I mm. can write all my expenses from my monthly budget and see how much I earn by doing small jobs in order to make more money. 
then I can work towards the goal. Ah. Right. See what you're saying, but you also need to be careful with that. Let's say you're doing five odd jobs per month. You can't now aim for 20 just because you need to cover some certain costs, okay? Take your worst month, take your best month, put them together and work out an average, okay? See how much money you're making from that. Uh, that will be a projected income, right? Good. So after that, if maybe there are extra jobs you are able to do during the month, then save that money afterwards. Hmm. As soon as I get home, I'm going to work that out. So that's why it's very important to keep up to date with all your journals, ledgers and other source documents. Then you can see what progress your business is making, what's working and what actually isn't working. So it's kind of like playing detective, you know, you're like looking at your financial plan for this year and then working out a financial plan for next year so you can plan ahead. That's very smart, Ryan. Well done. <laughs> try, try. <laughs> see, that's what business actually really do. That's why they have a financial year end. Directors of the big business will sit down and look at all their numbers. Then they'll know, did they make a profit? or a loss and we know they don't want to make a loss okay mm -hmm. what they're going to do again for the following year look at how they worked out things the previous year how did they spend their money was it in a bad way or the correct way i hear you i definitely need to start taking control of my business because all the time i was thinking it's a waste of time to, to take care of these petty financial documents and whatever not no 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 miles and how do you know um, if your stock is selling? How do you know if stuff is just sitting there in the shelf gathering dust? And how do you know if like um, you're making a profit or if you're just covering your costs? You need to work all of that out. Well, basically, I just check if I've got money in the money box. If there is money, I hope and pray that it'll get me through the week and make me buy stock. <laughs> That's really bad business practice, eh? You need to sort that out because you need to know how much you're selling each and every day and see how much profit you're making from that. Plus, think of how awesome it's going to be. You can like analyze your financials for this year project your income, and then you can work out your cash budget for next year. That's it right there. And then if you take that into consideration, you're going to have like an amazing spaza shop, right? Or is it a tuck shop? Excuse me. <laughs> an amazing tuck shop. And then when you finish school, it might turn out to be big business, man. I am starting today. Mm -hmm. You do that. You do that. Why do you need to budget? It helps to manage your money. It helps you plan for the future. It helps you meet financial objectives. It gives you the confidence that your business will make a profit or that you'll be able to save money. It can also identify problems before they occur and it improves your decision making. A cash budget is a forecast of cash inflows and outflows incorporating the timing of when the money is coming in and when money needs to be paid out. It is one of those very important planning tools in an organization because you need to have cash to pay your suppliers.